Aren't they just so shiny? Brodart makes my book shiny. And it keeps them protected. And here's a, a little video showing how I put these things on. May not be the perfect way. May not be just right. But here's how I do it. How to. Hello folks, I'm Tim and it's terrific. And I'm gonna try to do something here that I see a lot of people asking about. How to, how do I install dust jacket protectors? And I'm using a Brodart, I believe it's called Brodart, just a fold. I have the 10 inch option, which works on probably 95% of all the books I got. And I just buy it by the roll. This is almost done. This roll's almost gone. But I'll buy it by the roll, Amazon, directly from the manufacturer, eBay. There's all sorts of ways to buy such things. But this is what I buy. I buy it on Amazon because it's easy and it's easy to find it again when I need to look for it up again and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, 10 inch covers almost all the books that I own. I'll, I do have another roll, a small, uh, another roll that's dang near used up also 12 inch for the taller, bigger, oversized books. But most of the stuff I buy is going to be nine or 10 or less. So anyway, comes in the roll. I'm going to try to show you how I do it. I do it a lot. Never done it on camera before. So here we go. Let's see if I can adjust this here. You're looking at one of the 37 messiest craft tables. My wife is nice enough to let me use her craft table and she only complains a little bit when I do. But here's how it goes. I'll first roll out my Brodart just to fold dust jacket protector. I'll take my book. In this case, it's Ravenous by Ray Garten from Gauntlet Press. Uh, and first off, take the dust jacket off. So I'll take my dust jacket off, lay it down flat. This is how I do it. Again, you do it however the heck you want. But this is how I do it. And uh, this is a new book, so the dust jacket is thicker and stronger and not as fragile or brittle as some classic novels, although I do the exact same method with some very old books. Books from the 40s, I put these on. Might be the oldest from the 40s. Anyway, the dust jackets are thin and brittle, and so in that case, you'll be far more careful on those. I'm not going to be pressing them down and smoothing them out like that. I'll lay them down gently and carefully push it down, treat it. Deli These things must be done delicately for those of you who like the Wizard of Oz. Anyway, this one's new. The paper's thick. It's uh, it's tough. So I'm not going to abuse it, but I'm not going to be treating it delicately. So I lay it out, and the only reason I'm laying it out is so I can know how long I got to get it. And this is not absolute perfection. If you want to get them perfectly straight, use other methods. This is what I call good enough is good enough. And that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to figure out how long I want to cut it. I'll cut it just slightly longer than my dust jacket. And move that out of the way. Because accidental damage is not good for a dust jacket. Nobody wants an accidentally clipped dust jacket. There's one thing in this world that I hate. It's a clipped dust jacket. So I'm done with this for now. I'm going to stick it in the drawer. Stick it in the drawer behind you. Get it out of the way. Cause I don't want stuff in my way. I got enough stuff in the way. Now you saw, I took this, the, the plastic part is up when I measured it out. Now I'm going to flip it over so that the paper part is up and I'm going to lay my dust jacket down picture side down on the plastic part, separating the paper from the plastic. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to slide it in, slide it in. Slide it in, you can see, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Paper's up here, dust jacket's here, plastic's on the bottom. Using two hands with my fingers, holding the plastic lip down with the palms and my fingers just to push the dust jacket as far up as I can get it. I'm pushing it up into here. I want it to be all the way up because people who don't get it all the way in, when they put their dust jackets on, they'll have a little white ring around the top edge or the bottom edge or however it works out. A little white ring and it just doesn't look good. When my book's closed up, I at least want it to look good then. So try to get it all the way up, but not bend or crease or damage your dust jacket. Uh, push it on up in there and I should have it good. Just wanna push my, my paper side down. Uh, and then here's what I do. 
I don't follow instructions, I just do it. I fold this paper part up so it's just above the bottom edge of my dust jacket. What I don't want to do is I don't want to, I don't want to go too short. I want to get it just above the bottom edge of the dust jacket, otherwise you're going to see paper at the bottom. And it, it's such an exact science. You see, I'm just using my hands. A uh, true perfectionist would use a ruler or a straight edge. Me, I'm doing what's good enough for me. So you do it your way. I'm just folding it up here, making sure that it's above. You can bear, if you can see it here, I got a dust jacket sticking out just about that much past the bottom of the paper. Now I'm gonna take this plastic part, fold it up over also. I got it folded up good and tight. Just folding it with the hand, putting a crease in it. And then from there, I'll take my book, I'll lay it down flat on the dust jacket. And what I'm looking for here is the edge where the dust jacket folded over the book. And I'm gonna line my spine, my, I would line the, line the board edge up with that. My spine of the book's facing this way. I'm gonna take this paper, this uh, dust jacket protector and the dust jacket combined, fold it over just like that. And I'm gonna tuck it in tuck it in under my my front cover almost done now I'm gonna flip it over this is just how I do it I'm gonna flip it over pick up my back board and like you see here fold this one over uh, fold this one over you can always redo it if it isn't just right and Viola voila she's all protected uh, I'm gonna go stick it on the shelf where it gets mashed in between all the other books. At first, it's gonna be a little stiff. It's not gonna, it's, it's just gotten folded. So it's gonna take a little while for it to take a set to where it feels like it's one with the book. Uh, in 10 years, when you pull this thing off the shelf, this dust jacket protector is gonna feel like it's just part of the book. It's gonna look good, it's gonna feel good, it's gonna protect your dust jacket. And it's also gonna protect a little bit it's gonna protect a little bit the the edges of your book from taking it off the shelf, putting it back on the shelf and all that kind of stuff. So that's how I do it. I don't call myself an expert. Everybody else does. Nobody calls me an expert, nobody. That's just how I do it. If you, uh, if you got any advice, keep it to yourself. I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, that's how I do it. It's not that hard. I did it very fast, good enough for me. There's other ways, if you're a perfectionist, using things like a ruler or a long straight edge to get things perfect, if you gotta have it just perfect. If you, um, at the cuts, I cut mine with scissors, so it's not gonna be exact lines. I didn't measure it, I just laid it out and cut it. Good enough is good enough in this case, because guess what? Here's what it looks like inside. It's, anyway, this is how I got it. Uh, you can use you could use things like uh, whatever they call it, those those cutters that you have for you can use one of those if you want uh, to get the cut straight or very long scissors. Um, but I can't think of any more lies to tell. Thank you for the time. Hopefully it made you at least, if nothing else, understand this job is easy. It's not hard. Just a matter of doing it. Jump right in, do it. It's not that hard, uh, and it's worthwhile. Protects your stuff. Uh, that's it. No more lies to tell, c'est la vie, baby.